Hello, I'm Jefferson Mays, currently appearing at the Broadhurst Theatre in the front page, and I'm here to play Roll Call. Um, I appeared fleetingly in the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, funny is often brief, I've found. In a delirious little sketch starring John Cullum, uh, Nick Rouleau, and myself, uh, called Daddy's Boy. And I played Daddy's Boy's Daddy, and John Cullum played Daddy's Boy's Daddy's Daddy, and we were uh, the worst RKO movie musical ever. It was the most fun I've had in front of a camera. Except for now, of course. They all scare the hell out of me. Uh, for different reasons. This is a production of Orestes, and I played the eponymous role. A uh, production of, by On Guard Arts, site-specific, in the old Pennsylvania freight yards on the banks of the Hudson River. I ended up, uh, the first, at the end of the first preview, uh, being carted all away in an ambulance uh, to the emergency room at uh, Roosevelt Hospital. I play Orestes, who murders his mother, Clytemnestra, and I had stage blood all over my arms, and at the end of the show, I was astonished that the blood was still there, freshly freshly glistening and uh, had no idea that very early on I'd cut myself to the bone on a piece of broken glass in the landfill and I was uh, at the top of a, a, a teetering, dilapidated, uh, burnt out pier, uh, delirious uh, and almost fell to my death. So it was, it was a rush, an endorphin rush like none other I've experienced. Where are they? This is a case of quantity and quality. Uh, I played nine dice with family members in these beautiful costumes uh, created by uh, Linda Cho. But the costumes are not only beautiful, but they had to come on, uh, be put on and come off uh, with great celerity. I think the shortest costume quick change was 16 seconds. I had a grand total, I think, of 16 changes through the course of the show, so it's a wonder I have any skin left at all. I have the same dresser doing the front page now, uh, Julian Andreas Arango, who effected all these changes, and uh, he's bored out of his mind because the front page, I only have one costume. I played Aubrey in a production of George Kelly's The Show Off at Baltimore Center Stage and ran for maybe four weeks but it was one of the most uh, beautiful productions I've ever been involved in. Such exquisitely observed characters uh, performed by a magnificent company, and I played the titular character of the show-off, uh, Aubrey Piper. I'd sort of love to do it again someday. I don't do that much. Um, I'll have a look. I guess this might be it. A production of Oliver Goldsmith's She Stoops to Conquer, and I played uh, the rather anarchic uh, country squire Tony Lumpkin in dreadlocks and a pair of extremely tight yellow leather pants which, which had a tendency to reveal one's anatomy from certain angles. Sexy? I, I, I'm not sure. This was a blast to perform. It took place in an officer's dugout during World War I. I played Private Mason, who was the cook. I spent most of my show, my time in it, off stage, uh, making food. So you could hear the clinking of dishes and cutlery. And I had the best time. I didn't really act in this production, I catered this production. And at the end, uh, a German Miniwürfe shell falls on the dugout and everyone is blown up. And it, you can't get much better than that when it comes to endings. I was wrong for, I think, one of these roles. I played a character named uh, Vladivostok Jimmy. He was a, a Russian, uh, from Vladivostok, a uh, rap artist. I wore sort of a track suit and lots of chains and sunglasses and a, a baseball cap, uh, slightly askew. And I, and I had to do uh, a dance. I had to go, mm -mm, spin, and then grab my crotch and, and do this sort of pelvic thrust, uh, obscene. This role, or I, I should say roles, kicked my ass nightly for about two and a half years. Herniated disc, uh, tennis elbow, plantar fasciitis, uh, pulled groin muscle, torn gastrocnemius. Look it up, it's very painful. I 
think I'd have to say Charlotte von Malsdorf. I, I, and it's, it doesn't make any sense since I was uh, playing a, uh, a transgendered East German who was 65 years old and I was in my 30s at the time. Perhaps it, because it was a one person show, I, I felt most at home and, and true to myself. Admittedly, she was playing about 37 other characters. So there had to be some me in there somewhere. But yeah, this feels closest to home in, in so many odd ways. Ben Singer, Roy V. Ben Singer, to be precise, falls squarely into the small but sweet category. It's, it's lovely because I come on after the play starts, so you don't have that burden of having to deadlift a play off the boards. And then I'm in a more or less a naturalistic play uh, of simply being on stage for about 40 minutes. In Act 2, I have a, a brief vaudeville turn uh, in which I engage in mortal combat with an umbrella. And in Act 3, I have a, another vaudeville turn with my uh, hero and idol, uh, Nathan Lane. It's just such a lovely, uh, sweet, and wonderful time. Thank you so much. This has been a, a singular experience and, and oddly very moving, uh, seeing one's entire life flash before one's eyes. But please come to the front page. It runs at the Broadhurst Theatre until the 29th of January. Uh, an astonishing American play, an astonishing American cast, and uh, I think you'll have an astonishingly wonderful time seeing it. <laughs>